Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Crash Bandicoot Prototype. So, we've made it to this level, this little devil of a level called Stormy, Stormy, uh, <laughs> Stormy Ascent. Yeah, there you go. That's how good I am at remembering names. Um, this level, interestingly enough, uh, is accessible directly from the map in the prototype. Uh, and the reason that's interesting is because you can <coughs> you can actually play it in the finished product. However, you have to use a game shark to get to it. So the fact that it was accessible and playable at this time uh, in development, the prototype that is, just goes to show that that it uh, was caught very 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 late in the development of the game. Apparently. Um, also, I did uh, read a bit about it, and it seems that some people have problems with with the game crashing. If I if people die, so I would be doing my very best to not die. And yeah, I went and collected extra lives as always, because this has. Oh yeah, I didn't say say that yet. This one, this level, this little devilish thing. <clears throat> used to be known as the toughest level in the Crash Bandicoot game. Although and it still is in the finished version, although in the prototype Sunset Vista has uh, beaten it difficulty-wise, but still that just goes to show that this is likely going to be a stormy ascent. <laughs> Quite literally. literally. Uh, let's see what we got here. And we already made it past the first continue without too much trouble, so that's at least something. Seems that this is another of those levels where you have to time everything very precise. Precisely? Precisely! Jesus, why can't I speak proper English? And that. Oh, well, at least we get a new one right here. Um. Platform moving from side to side. Platform moving from side to side. Uh, what's. Whoa, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Not a big deal. Okay, it just seemed it seemed worse than it was. Ah, there. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, the next continue. That was pretty new. That's good. That's good. Uh, oh, this isn't anything new to us. We've done. We? Why do I keep saying we? You're not doing this. You don't feel the pain that I have to go through every single level. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, come down. Oh, I'll just, just jump over this. Uh, are you serious? More of these? Oh, no. uh, is it continuing with that all the way down? Because that's just trolling. Whoever designed this level seems to have been, yep, trolling before trolling even was named. Naughty Dog, trolling since 1996, apparently. Damn, this is a fast platform. And yet I managed to make it past it. And get an extra life that I didn't even need. Oh dear. Um let's see, what do we have here? I really wish there had been a continue there, because I'd rather not have to go through that again. I mean, just beating it once seems to have been pushing my log a bit. A bit too much, maybe even. Especially because Locke is not quite a friend of mine. Not quite a friend of mine. Oh, I almost hit that thing on that. Are you kidding me? You didn't think this was tough enough already? Uh, whoever designed this level is just plain mean. This doesn't look safe. Uh, what do we have here? Um, there. Whoa, fast. It's just... Uh, that has to be timed rather perfectly. Whoa, that's those... I'm going to speak a bit louder because I think that will be required here. Because these platforms are really noisy. Oh dear. Do I really have to jump that fast? Oh, this has to be timed very perfectly and I'm not good. <gasps> okay, I made it. I'm usually not that good at timing things. And now we're back at stairs. That'll try to kill us. Everything's just threatening to kill us at this point, isn't it? Oh, well, it has been ever since we started. Um, why? Oh, there you go. Finally a continue. I'd rather not have to go through all that again. 
Okay, uh, this is a pretty long level. And right now, I'm very glad that I have the Aqua Aqua because this just seems... Whoa! Rather troublesome! Rather troublesome! And yet I made it past it. Uh, there. Okay, trying to... Give this a moment, just to make sure I don't... Misjump my jumps completely. <laughs> yeah, I see you there, Mr. Bird, moving from side to side. Not going to fall for, for that again. Okay, how do I time this? Like that, apparently. A bit close, but I got... Oh. Wait, what? How am I... Um... There's no way I can make it past that! Are you insane? Whoa, okay. That was a bit too close. How am I supposed to make it past that, that part? That makes no sense. I should have not lost my... Did that bird just kill me? I might just... Uh, I, might be, I might be wrong about something, but this far I've been able to kill birds by jumping at top of them. Did I just get killed by an enemy that I'm supposed to be able to kill when I actually was supposed to kill it? That made no sense. You get the point. I died even though I wasn't supposed to. This level is pretty bulky. I'm pretty damn insane. I'm pretty damn lucky to me. No, the level is not lucky to me. That, that makes no sense. How am I supposed to get past this? I don't get it. Nope, I don't get it. How in the world's name am I supposed to get past? Now I need, now I need the Aqua Aqua Tech to be able to jump the spikes. Oh, this is going so well, huh? So we make it to the third. Continue, and then everything just blow up in my face. We made so great progress. And then this happened. This... Okay, I don't... For a moment doubt the reasons as to why this was called the toughest level. I'd actually go as far as to say that this is still the toughest level. Mainly because I have no damn idea how I'm supposed to get past this bloody part. Am I supposed to just jump for the second one? Nope, I'm not. I'm not. I'm supposed to do this. I just... I don't get it! I don't get it! How do I do this? It makes no sense! I thought this this was supposed to be beatable. I thought people had actually beaten this level, but that next part there... Ah oh dear, come on! I need the extra life to figure out how to get past the other part. These, this first one, I'm pretty, pretty glad that it's the timing of the platforms is so that I can actually just jump right into it without having to worry too much about my own timing because else that would have killed me a few times okay how am I supposed to do this I can't stay in mid-air long enough to actually maybe I have to uh... I don't know nope should have jumped a bit later, I guess. If I actually make it past it, I really, 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 really hope that they place the continue afterwards. Or at least not made it too difficult to get to the next continue, because I don't get this one. Oh, there you go. Would you look at that? And no continue, obviously. Send us. Silum. That's stainless. Even though there's space for it right here. Uh, moving on to insanely moving platforms. I can make past that. Uh, side to side again. Why do you do this to me, birdie? Birdie, birdie. Oh my god. I actually made it. Screw the. I don't need those boxes. Hell yeah, we made it! Stormy Ascent! I can beat you! Mwah! <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. I did it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the final boss is right ahead of us. 
it's Dr. Neo Cortex, and we've made it here. So, um, this marks the end of the game, everyone, once we beat him. Uh, from what I remember, the boss fight is pretty much the same as in the final version, except for some color palette changes, and the fact that you have to pick up an Aquaco at the very start. Um, you know, don't have to, but rather than be having it given to you. Whoa, the sound effects are rather quiet in the background, rather low. Oh no, oh no, don't want to lose my Aquaku. That would be a waste so early on in the fight. But yeah, as you can see, pretty much the same. The only sound effects that we can really hear are the small explosions from the castle in the background. Oh, about that actually, I think I remember reading that supposedly due to Nitrous Brio uh, getting an upset that he set the castle on fire or something like that. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Although I do think that it would seem that the castle actually survives, at least partly, uh, the fire. Because in Crash Bandicoot 2 there's uh, a secret warp room which supposedly takes place... Uh, do I have to... Oh, there you go. At the very top of that. But we'll get to that later on. So, that actually concludes the game. We beat it. I beat it. I beat it for you. And uh, that was a very short episode. But yeah. So, moving right along. Let's see what we have. And this is what we get for beating the level. Yep, no credits. No fancy graphics. There's no ending to it. So we just simply have this map without map. <laughs> um, and if I'm not wrong, something's going to happen with the crash face flying over it or something. But, you know, I think I'd rather try and put something together for you. For the end. Uh, and I'm going to throw in the credits as well, just because that's a good, that's good karma, giving people the credits they actually deserve. So everyone, that was the end of this Let's Play. I hope you've been enjoying watching some of my stupid mistakes and stuff. Uh, I've at least enjoyed playing it, that much I can, can assure you. Uh, it was quite interesting trying some of all this prototype material and at the same time it quite sent me down memory lane since it's been a while since I played the, the retail version of Crash Bandicoot 1. Um, the credits. Yeah, if you're wondering, that's concept art, official from Naughty Dog. Uh, I found it fitting for this since there's no other credits and, well, a black screen would be boring. Um, as far as goes for the 100 uh, deaths celebration thingamajig I need to do, I will get around to doing that. I just need to figure out what to do. And once I do, I'll either add it as an extra episode to this series or as a standalone thing. We'll have to wait and see about that. I'm not entirely sure what to do for my next Let's Play either. Uh, but I'm always open for suggestions uh, from you who view my Let's Plays, especially since my goal is to entertain you, so if you have anything you want to see me play, suggest it either in the comment below or on my Facebook. I'll very likely see the message <laughs> and I'll think about it. Again, I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, and all some of my other stuff for that matter. Um, yeah, until next time I hope you will be doing well and take care. For now, it's bye-bye. <laughs>